<clears throat> Welcome back, my friends. Long time no see. I feel naughty tonight. I feel real naughty tonight. It's like a solo rendezvous again. Back-to-back -back solo rendezvous with yours truly. I love every single one of you. I appreciate all of you that listen. Appreciate every single one that engage with me. We're going to add a new little uh, segment to the end of this one. I got a couple emails from you guys. I'm excited to open those and uh, answer some questions for you. Yeah, that'll be interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling naughty. I'm feeling real good. I've been, I've been doing this thing since last week where I'm working my way up doing push-ups and we started at we started at 30 straight through 30 blah 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 blasting those triceps you tried to get by but you got trash and now I could do 80 80 non-stop I just did it before I hopped on that's why I'm feeling real naughty feeling like I'm about to I'm about to go to some college and steal the quarterback, starting quarterback, just about to go on that field, not, not his position, like actually steal him. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. But you guys ever have any, one of those days where you just wake up? Let's talk about this first before I even get into waking up. This is good. Like, there are no edits in these solo rendezvous. There are no edits. So there's going to be some... There's going to be some spaces. It's going to be some awkward silences. Probably just like the last episode because that was straight through too. But this is a little warning shot. I didn't even give you a warning shot last time. I just went on the, the 18th floor and put you in my scope and went pew! Nailed you. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. But that's life sometimes. That's life sometimes, man. People aren't going to tap you on the shoulder. Hey, listen up. I'm going to shoot you. People don't say that shit. I'm gonna fuck up your day. All right, hope you're ready. Nah, gotta talk about this last time. Adaptability. Gotta adapt. Gotta adapt to it. And that's kind of what I did with today. Because I was in a K hole today. Ketamine hole. I don't do ketamine, but I feel like if I did, this is how it would feel. K hole. I woke up, little pee pee on my pants. That's how I started my day. Drank too much water. I'm drinking a lot of water. A lot of H2O. Water bottles. Plastic. Thing you're not supposed to do. Joe Rogan says. But I'm a man and I'm crazy. So I be drinking like eight water bottles a day. Stay hydrated on my shit. Give me that plastic. Drinking credit cards. Get in my bank account. That's life. Woke up today and my motorcycle wasn't starting. My motorcycle wasn't starting yesterday. So I knew that today was going to be a shit show. I thought I had identified the problem. It was the battery because it was making clicks and stuff. And, you know, thank God for YouTube because I'm mechanically inclined. A re-re. If you say so. And I'm allowed to say that because I have Riri's in my family. I am a Riri. And I love you. If you're a Riri, I love you too. You're welcome. You're welcome on this show. You're welcome to give me a call. I had a head injury at six months. I fell down a flight of steps, man. Crack like an egg. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty fucked up his head. And that was me, Humpty Dumpty. Anyways, I love you guys. So I had to go all over the town, towns over. Felt like I was in the medieval times, man, just trying to like relay messages for my king. to like other kingdoms and shit. No one knew what the fuck I was talking about. I was looking for like a specific battery for my motorcycle. 
Here comes Jasperith looking for one specialty battery for an Iron 883, your highness. And they're like, we don't have that. Okay. We have one in Lake Zurich, though, which is like a 45 minute. That's what the guy said. We have one in Lake Zurich. It's like 40 minutes away. Like, all right, I'll take, take my talents there, I guess. Shit, what am I doing on this Monday? I don't work or anything. I do. I do work. I got the battery, and I spent six hours installing it because where my motorcycle is located is underground, and there's sensor lights. So if you don't like click one of those sensors, it, it stays dark, and I'm like tucked away in the corner like a red-headed stepchild that's just been beaten viciously, and rice thrown at, and burnt, and just like branded. Just in the, the deepest, darkest corner you could imagine. That's where I have to do this work. I have a light. I have a flashlight on my phone. I bought a, a flashlight as well so I could see. Six hours, man. Six hours. That's a, that's a domestic flight from L.A. to New York, I think. Probably. It sounds right. From L.A. to New York. I was working on this thing. I think the job is supposed to be like 30 minutes. Took me six hours. You want to talk about Riri? Yeah. Yeah, six hours. I could... You don't want me being a mechanic. You don't want to pay for my labor. I'm going to charge you 14 grand. 14 grand, change your battery. I don't give a shit. Had to go buy all sorts of tools that I don't have. I had to make a couple returns. So that's all included in the six hours. But we got it working. We got it working. And I feel like a man. I feel like a man when we do that. When we, when we overcome an obstacle like that, you didn't want me to ride my motorcycle. But I did. I did something about it. And that's life. You got to do something about it, baby. If shit gets in the way, you got to do something, baby. You can't just go back to sleep. You can't just roll over. You wake up with a little pee pee on your drawers. Can't be looking down and be like, oh man. Oh man, not again. Oh. Roll your ass around and go back to sleep. No, you gotta get up, take on the day. That's what we can do. I'm excited to be here, guys. I'm excited to do this, uh, this solo rendezvous with you guys. Feeling so naughty on the inside. <clears throat> Feeling so naughty. I, I bet those push-ups are like boosting my testosterone. I bet you. I bet you it is. I'm at 80. 80 in a row. On the brink of a heart attack. Ba, 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 ba. And then I come on here with you good people. Talking. Talking all crazy. Whew. Listen, I've been thinking a lot, man. I've been thinking a lot. I'm watching a lot of videos of like, I'm subscribed to this 90s, like everything 90s Instagram page. So it's like uh, retro shit, nostalgia. And there was this last video this dude posted yesterday. And it was at night, like the, the sun was, was starting to go down. It was almost night and there was a campfire. And it looked like it was being recorded on a VHS. There were sleeping bags all over the, the fire. Not on it, obviously, because that would be hazardous, but around it. And you hear like the little crickets. And you just get, you're just like, damn, man, take me back. That was the primo days. Take me back. And everyone is commenting on that like, man, I wish I could get back to that. Man, those were the golden days. That was the that was the era right there. And I'm like, everyone, you can get back. You can. I know exactly what the issue is cuz I'm feeling like that too. So I made a stand today what i'm gonna do for when the summer hits which will probably be in august because we're in chicago out here and we have 
winter and summer and winter is 11 months and then summer is one month. I think, yeah, August is summer. But when August comes, here's the plan. I highly recommend maybe you guys take part two. We could do it together. We buy a flip phone. We buy a flip phone. Now I'm not saying I'm not saying go nuts, right? And like get rid of your smartphone forever. No, no. Just when you go out, when you go out, you leave your smartphone at home. You leave it at home and you bring the lack thereof functional flip phone, which has like text message and making a phone call and a blurry ass picture if you really want one. But this, what this is going to do, this is gonna help you capture that moment, to live in the moment, to experience life instead of just constantly looking at your phone. And even if you're not looking at your phone, if it's on you, like what's in the back of your mind, man? You're not disconnected from it. If it's on you, you're not disconnected because at any moment, you know you have the luxury of pulling it out. It's right there. It's on your person. So you can just take it and grab it. And you're always wondering, you're always wondering, did someone like my post? Did someone text me? What's going on on social media? Let me look at other people. And you're always connected to that always connected to that man so you can get those golden day back man you can i'm telling you if we just put our smartphones away we just put them down we take like a one of them cameras not a polaroid but like a fuji film camera that you like point at and go click and that's it you can't look at the picture you have to like all right i think that was good hope i just didn't get that that woman breastfeeding that child i hope i got the the fireworks. I hope I got the parade. And not that not that dude swamp ass. You don't know though. You don't know until you go and get it developed at the uh, at Walgreens if they still do that shit. But you're living in the moment. That's what this is all about, man. Living in the moment. Mm, that's what's missing. Like interacting with people. Not your phone. Interacting with people. Opportunity comes, man. When you're like, when you're engaged in the events or outside or you're around people, when you're engaged, such fun shit happens, man. And you're making memories. You're making the best memories. And you can talk about them from years from now. Instead of just like capturing the moment on your phone, like looking through your phone and you're not like, you're not aware. You are so hyper aware when your your phone's like not on you and you're looking at everything like around, you're hyper aware. And you capture everything. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So that's the pact that I made with myself for this summer in August that I'm putting down that phone I'm putting down that phone, I'm getting a flip phone. Being completely present. You know, I don't want them thoughts lurking in the back of my mind. Mm -mm. I don't want the devil playing in my brain. No, no sir. The devil's not here. You can go the hell home, bitch. Mm -mm. Not this summer. We're going to try it. Because the last couple summers, man, just they've been flat. They seem flat. I'm sure COVID has something to do with that too, but I really think it's the phone, man. So that's what it is. I want to smell everything. I want to smell that homeless dude. I want to smell that person that farted and crop dust right by me. I want to smell the, the summer in the air, the fresh breeze. I don't give a shit what it is, that dead squirrel over there. I want to smell it. I don't want to be looking at my fucking Twitter. Saying, oh shit, Joe Biden says some, some dumb shit again. Some non-comprehendable stuff. Poor guy. I'm not a fan of him, but I was, poor guy. That's someone's grandpa. Like imagine your grandpa at 90,000 years old. And the government's like pulling him out of his house to go 
give speeches and shit and go try to ride a fucking bike. Just eat ice cream, man. Go to your go to your assistant living and eat ice cream, man. You don't need to be having the toughest job in the world. What are you doing? Put your phones down, big baby. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to have your phone on you. We're doing flip phones this year. All right. Enough about that, okay? You got the point. Let's move on to the, uh, the email and section, boys and girls. I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you for engaging with me. This is fun. Okay, we got to open the email. We got four emails. We're doing a new segment. If you want to be on the show and uh, have your, your message read, and I'll kind of answer them. The Curiosity Chamber at gmail.com. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, K hole. Woke up in a K hole this morning, but now we're feeling good. Okay. Curiosity Chamber email. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. First email coming from the fat. The Fat Man 2112. Shout out the Fat Man 2112. Appreciate you. Why are you so gay and your show sucks? Zach. All right. Well, that's not really a, a question. Well, one of them is. One is more of a comment. But that's why. I, well, I appreciate you enough to be listening to the show, man. To to write a comment like that. You You hate me enough to... To leave that so I appreciate you and I love you um, I don't know I like that Sam Smith song the unholy song maybe that's the one that put me over I don't know the reason why my show sucks hmm I don't know I, I, maybe it's because of the people I listen to that could be it or because I'm not getting enough fucking help from you guys you're just shitting on me Appreciate you, Zach. Let's move on. Okay. That was the first email. It caught me off guard a little bit. Thought it was going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit more cheery than that. Oh, you know what? You, fuck you, Zach. You didn't even spell shit right anyways. Saying my show sucks. Your face sucks, dude. Suck it. Let's get to the second email. I love you for being here. Thank you. Second email... Email to okay. the wrong, the wrong flounder 98. I bet if I walked into your house, it would reek of cat piss. Okay. Again, that's not, that's not a question. That's like another comment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I bet, if, I bet if I walked into your house, it would reek of cat piss. You guys are supposed to be asking questions, dude. Or, anyway, the, that one's not signed by anyone. The wrong flounder 98. Again, thanks for commenting, though. And, you know, I appreciate you thinking that I make enough money to live in a house. So there was that. All right, off to a good start. We got two more. So, holy shit. <laughs> thanks, everyone, for listening. All right, email three. You guys have oh, let's take a pause for a second. You guys having fun? You like this new segment? We might be deleting this right away. If you have questions, I, I, apparently it doesn't even matter. If you have questions or comments, the curiosity chamber at gmail dot com. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. I don't want to hear from you, Flounder and you, Zach. How about that? All right, moving on. Email three. What made you want to start a podcast? There you go. There's a normal one. That is Simon Pez Six. Shout out to Simon Pez Six. Let me just make sure that there's no funny. Okay. No funny business. Nothing down lower. It's not signed by anyone. What made you want to start a podcast? Um, my pure hatred for Zach and the other dude that wrote the email. That's exactly why I got into podcasting. Fuck those kids. 
I got into podcasting because the very first podcast I heard was Serial. And it was a, like a murder case. And there was like a unsolved mystery. And I listened to that while I was working at Honda corporate office as like an intern. And it was like the most engaging and the best show I've ever heard in my fucking life. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. But I didn't start podcasting after that immediately. Like it took a a year to resonate with me and then more podcasts started coming out. And then the Joe Rogan experience made its way to me and I started listening to that. I'm like, damn man, this is cool as hell. This dude is bringing on like people that are so intelligent and have just like shooting the shit with them and like wanting to learn from them and they were happy to to teach them, you know? So that seemed cool. Um, I mean, that that's pretty much it. That's why I got into podcasting. Not because I wanted my house to smell like cat piss or to have a, a, a sucky show, as some some would say, and podcasting did not make me gay. So I just want to clarify all that and now. We're going to get to the third one. Thanks for that question, man. That was a good question. Let's get to the uh, the fourth and final email here. Sorry, I got logged out. Sign it back in. I told you guys. We're not editing this shit. This is real life, baby. Real life. K-hole. K-hole. Woke up. Woke up feeling real naughty tonight. Real naughty. I didn't wake up tonight. I just caught myself. It's probably why that dude says my show sucks because I'm not making any sense right now. Anyways, email for question four. This is from Ray202920. I heard you say in a previous episode podcast that you were a lesbian. How has that changed your life? I didn't. I never said that. I never said I was a lesbian. I don't think. There's been a lot of a lot of episodes, though. I... Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's go ahead and read that one more time for everyone. So you can hear it again, Ray, if you're listening. Don't even know if you're a, a subscriber or a listener. But it says, I heard you say in a previous episode podcast that you were a lesbian. How has that changed your life? Because I got that fucking dog in me, Ray. Because I got that lesbian in me, Ray. If you come to me, I'll fucking body slam you, Ray. Got traps like China. China was a lesbian, I think. No, I, actually, she was straight. That's a bad example. Caitlyn Jenner, bitch. I won the Olympics. That's the lesbian in me. That's not a lesbian either. Fuck, I'm not good. Like, Caitlyn Jenner is a trans, transgender. Who's a lesbian? I don't know any lesbians off the top of my mind. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm not a lesbian. But them lesbians are good at fighting. In the UFC, them lesbians are good at fighting. I'll whoop your ass. Yeah, so that's uh, that's how it's changed my life, being a lesbian. So. All right, well, that was, uh, that was eventful. Thank you, everyone, for... Uh, Writing in the messages and uh, keep them coming, I guess. The curiosity chamber at gmail.com. Feeling good, feeling blessed. Feeling like a madman today. And uh, for the times that we don't have guests on the show, we'll, uh, we'll just do this solo rendezvous and I'll read some emails from you guys, comments or questions, I suppose. And uh, I'll just let the inner lesbian out. And we'll go from there. Hope everyone has a blessed night. I love you guys. Thank you for for paying attention. Remember your mom and dad love you. And uh, just have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, everyone. Be good. Be good. Go wet them sheets.